Here is how you make a solder paste stencil using Eagle. Gonna open up the PCB file. Alright. And here's the PCB in Eagle. And what we are interested in is these two layers, T cream and V cream. T for top, B for bottom. These layers we're gonna look at just dimension and T cream. Whenever you make a component or place a component, there's the pads and eagle if you wanted to it basically generates where the solder paste needs to be for every pad of a component and this is done usually automatically for you and these areas are where the solder paste will be deposited when you make the stencil here's something good to do uh, you can print a one-to-one -one copy of your circuit well of the stencil to a sheet of paper and then you can take the actual component place it on top of the sheet of paper just to double check that your stencil will come out correctly so that's something helpful you can do before continuing so now we are going to open up the cam processor and we do not want these layers hold on we want dimension and T cream and we're going to call this then so and then output files hold on we are going to select Gerber RS274X make sure pause cord is on optimize is on we are going to call it stencil dot Gerber top paste GTP now process drop and we have our file here stencil dot GTP and we are going to use GERB -V. GERB -V is a Gerber viewer and we're just gonna take a look upload circuit video and GTP. We are going to look at this file through a Gerber preview just to double check that everything is fine. And it looks like it's fine. So now just take this file and email it to whoever is going to make the stencil for you. Uh, they'll use a laser cutter and they'll cut it onto a thin sheet of plastic for you.